Hello people, welcome to Bible Talk with Rob Foster. What is or who is the Antichrist? Is it a man or is it a system? I want to tell you now that it's a system and it's been in place for many years already. It's not a man, a single man. Uh, it's the number of a man. They have their triple six just as we have uh, God the Father, the Spirit and the, the Son, our triune God. So the Antichrist system also has its trinity, 666. I'll, I'll give you more of that in a minute, but I'm going to do it first via proof. In Daniel 10 we read, In the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, a thing was revealed to Daniel, whose name was called Belteshazzar. And the thing was true, but the time appointed was long, and he understood the thing, and understood the vision. This makes the year of Cyrus 533 BC. Toward the end of the prophecy we read, And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, and when he held up his right hand and left hand to heaven, and swear by him that liveth for ever, it shall be a time, times, and half a time, when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the, peop of the holy people, and all these things shall be finished. We know that one day is like a thousand years to the Lord. And a time, times, and half a time is a thousand years, another thousand years, and a half a thousand years, which is two and a half thousand years. So we go from 533 BC, and remember if we go from BC to AD, you've got to apply the formula, which is 0.985, I think it's 0.985, you multiply by because it was going from a 360 day year, to the Gregorian 365-day uh, year. So from 533, when this vision occurred, plus 2,500, takes us to the end of the shattering of the strength of the holy people, up to 1967, when Jerusalem was recaptured. Then we see in Daniel 7.25, And he shall speak great words, he being the Antichrist now, shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and to think to change, change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand a time, times, and the dividing of time. That's another 2,500 years. From the 552 BC when this occurred, takes us to 1948. 1948 was when Israel was recaptured, and declared to be a state again by David Ben-Gurion, and that was the end of the Jews being given into his hand and being scattered among the wilderness of the nations. His hand being the little horn, Satan versus the Gentile oppressors. They were allowed to trample the holy place for that period of time, from 552 BC until 1948. And that's where their abomination of desolation is seen standing in the holy place. The Dome of the Rock was seen standing in the holy place since 688 AD. There is no temple, there is no person going to offer an abomination uh, inside the holy temple because there is no temple. But that abomination of desolation has been seen standing in the holy place since 688 AD. So Daniel was told to shut up the book until the time of the end and knowledge would be increased and people would rush to and fro. So from 552 BC to 2500 um, years added to that takes you to 1948 and from the first year of Belteshazzar uh, 533 to 1967 is two and a half thousand years. In Revelation 12 verse 6 it says that the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared by God and they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days, one thousand two hundred and sixty days. The woman is Israel, and the one thousand two hundred and sixty days when Israel was coming out of the wilderness of the people from being scattered among the nations uh, and returning home and declaring her independence in 1948. We subtract one thousand two hundred and sixty years a year for each uh, day, and we arrive at 688 AD. That is when 
the abomination that causes desolation. The Dome of the Rock was set up. Now this uh, Dome of the Rock, unfortunately, um, is seen standing on Temple Mount, which was Moriah, the mountain of God. Moriah, Yahweh. And it's not Mori Allah, it's Moriah. Unfortunately, to my Muslim friends, I love you so much, but you guys must wake up and you must accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. You are the only of the three major religions, Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. You are the only ones that are still in blindness completely because you do not accept that Jesus could be begotten nor that he could beget. God couldn't beget a son. Uh, please, my friends, I want you to be saved. So Jerusalem um, was under the foot of or controlled by Gentiles, or shall I rather say Muslims, on Temple Mount until the Israelis took back the holy city in 1967. That was 42 months of 1,278.5 uh, days as years. That is when you go from Old Testament to New Testament calendar and you multiply by 30.44 days. It comes from 1967. We, had, we subtract that. We again arrive at 688. Did you know that the, the two eastern gates with the slits in, they line up perfectly with the little dome called the Dome of Spirits. And under that dome is a flat stone. They say this is where the Holy of Holies was located in the original temple and where the Ark of the Covenant stood. But now it's pushed one side and that golden dome, although it looks so beautiful, inside it has blasphemies. And it is written, God could not beget therefore and he was not begotten. And it also says that uh, Bismillah, it t talks about uh, the fact that Jesus was not crucified and that one was crucified in his place, now being uh, Judas. So in Daniel 12, 11, he says, At that time, uh, the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination that make deathless set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Daniel 12, 11 says, And from the time the daily sacrifice was removed, and the silent abomination placed 1290 days now if you if you work that out from the time that was 583 bc and you work out the 1290 days times the 0 0.9857 uh, from gregorian to the previous calendar works out to 1271.5 solar years Subtracting 583 BC, we arrive again at 688.5 AD, the Dome of the Rock, the abomination of desolation. Then Daniel goes on and he says, Blessed be he who lives and waits till he reaches the 1335 days, times 0 0.9857 plus 583 BC takes you to 732.9 AD. Now, if you work that out and you look at, you can look that number up in Google. It was the Islamic Christian Battle of Tours, where Islam received their head wound, their deadly head wound, from which they are being healed now, and they are the fastest growing religion. They were almost defeated, otherwise Europe would have been a, an Islamic nation. So let's take this straight. Um, John also spoke about the 1260 days. You can work it out with no conversion from 688 plus 1260 days works out to 1948 when Israel was reborn. Now comes the crux of the matter. The satanic tri triple six is Satan as the head, the beast seen rising from the sea, which is always nations, the people. The beast is the Islamic system. And the false prophet is none other than Muhammad. Unfortunately, you people can say it's the Pope and everything, but no other prophet has ever led one third of the earth astray. There will never be such a false prophet as Muhammad again. Unfortunately, this is true. And the, the, the Muslims need to re realize this and repent 
and accept Jesus. Muhammad, the beast system, and Satan is the triple six, the abomination that causes desolation, seen standing in the holy place. Now I want to bring you a mystery. What if we take that 1,335 days of Daniel and we apply it literally to our calendar now from 688 AD? 1,335 days added to that brings us to, are you ready for this, 2023. How close is the rapture? How close are we being caught up to heaven? People, this Bible is accurate. And you can mark your Bible. You can go and make notes. You can Google. There is no, there might be a man, but there is no no, nothing else coming but that which already has been and has been right in front of us all the time. The Antichrist system sitting on Temple Mount. Are we blind? You can go and do um, a search on the number 666 or Bismillah in the name of Allah. Also, a Google search will reveal that the Quran 666, we find the submission sect that they actually say that the Quran is triple six. I pray that you will have found some sort of um, truth in this teaching of mine. It's been a very difficult time for me to bring this message, but we needed to hear it because the church is teaching falsely on the Antichrist and the, 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 the beast and the false prophet. We are teaching falsely doctrines of demons and we need to repent of that and read our Bibles again, people. This is Rob Foster signing out. I'll speak to you next time.